Hey, what's up, everybody? And welcome back to Roscoe's Reef. So on this episode, I'm going to go through the uh, Orphic Atlantic V4 Compact. Now, on the last episode, I explained what happened with the ocean and why Orphic sent me out generously a um, Atlantic V4 Compact to try out. So if you need to know uh, basically what happened, shoot back to the last video. I'll put the link in the description down below for you to find out. Now the package came uh, packed with everything I needed. Um, the light itself, which has a length of about 14 inches, the width is about 10 inches, and the thickness of it, or height, is a little over 2 inches. Uh, it comes with your instruction manuals, uh, because you'll need one for both Wi-Fi and the light itself. It also comes with its own internet cable, because it has a wireless link, and you can run it either wirelessly like I said or hardwired. I chose to hardwire it because I like that connection a lot better. Uh, there's the Meanwell driver, one of the best drivers uh, that can be made right now. It comes with a, um, as you can see here, the plug for the link which has numerous adapters for any kind of outlet around the world. It also has uh, the antenna that comes, that you hook up to the light so you can run it wirelessly and also here is the link itself. Now, take note to the numbers that are on your link if you buy this light and you get it because you're going to need that later. Uh, it's quite small, but it is powerful and has a decent range to it. Uh, the light itself is well constructed and it has Orphix signature acrylic on the front where all the LEDs are sitting. Now, speaking of LEDs, there are 42 customized 5 watt dual chip power LEDs bringing the grand total to 84 individual LEDs in on the light. Uh, if you look at the light from head on, you'll see the dual chips in each lens, uh, and that gives the light the ability to put out amazing light that uh, contributes to coral growth, color, and health. There are 14 different types of dual chip wide range LEDs from 380 nanometers UV to 850 nanometers infrared so the light itself packs a punch here you see I'm putting the power cord to the link and I'm getting ready to install it um, this section is going to be basically just how I connected it uh, I connected up to my router using the cable that they provided and then all I had to do at this point was to plug the link in and just watch it you can see right here the red light is blinking and also it's showing the secondary red light that's showing its activity and it's uh, basically configuring itself to your router and accepting all the uh, controls and ports and information whatever the only thing you have to keep in mind when doing this procedure is to read the instruction manual follow the steps as it's stated don't you know just make sure you go along step by step and you'll get through this process with no problem at all uh, it doesn't take very long for it to uh, get ready to use. I waited about a minute to two minutes uh, while it was working um, to go and try to connect to it. So believe me when I tell you, this is relatively easy to do. Um, what I actually did is I disconnected this once I had it set up and went through all the steps again and had no problem setting it up again the second time. Now, this runs off an app. Go to the App Store if you have an Android phone, and you pick the Atlantic V4 Gateway app. You install that on your phone, and when it's ready to load up, it's going to ask you for some uh, quick steps to, to get connected to your light. Basically, this is what the app looks like when you open up the dashboard, and you're going to hit Settings, and then in the upper left-hand corner, you're going to click Gateway going to ask you for the gateway ID. Now remember when I told you to take particular note and when you get this light to the gateway ID number that's on the link. You may want to write that down because if you set it up <laughs> you'll, you'll have to dig it out again. There's the gateway ID and all you do is put that number string into the app and it's going to identify the light and connect to it. Right here you can see the light change color now to show me that I am connected to the light and ready to use it wirelessly. Now once you're connected it will show you the label that the light is given itself. You can connect it, uh, correct this to anything you want. 
So now that it's connected, I went into the quick mode and just wanted to try the different channels, um, adjusting them back and forth, seeing how responsive the app is. And it takes a little getting used to, especially me with, with, with fat fingers, but uh, once you get down where you have to push and where you have to press on your phone for this, you will see just how quickly the right light responds to the app. It's uh, really, really smooth and in no time at all. Now, also, one thing that the app does is it comes with a demo. Um, I put it in for 10 seconds to start, and once you click it, the light immediately responds and starts going through the pre-programmed demo mode, which basically is it's going through each of the channels and changing the light to show you just how many different variations of light there is to be had with this, with this fixture. Also through the app you can put it into different modes and this light really renders the most natural appearance to the tank from 10k to 50k. If it, the beauty that comes out of your tank from this light is ridiculous. Now the one thing I didn't go into great detail about the app is that it has a program section. You could set up any kind of programming that you want on this light. Whether you want to manually adjust each channel to the way you like it or you, you can pick from one of the presets that's available. To name a few, there's acclimation, there's uh, coral growth, coral color and growth, just coral color, or it even, even has a showroom uh, setting that basically sets it up so it will make the light appear the way it would look inside your LFS. The hanging kit is relatively easy to use. I mean, it, it comes out of the box pretty much almost ready to go. You just have to make a few connections uh, with the set screws, and it's a hook and an eye that's on top of the light. Basically, it's one of the simplest hanging kits that I've used. There's no, no clips to push down and, and kind of jockey into place. You just hook it and you're ready to go. Here are the LEDs. And again, I'm not going into great detail about PAR and PER and the setup. You can go, go check out Orphix uh, website. I'll have the link in the description down below and all this information is there for you to check out. So what I would do before purchasing the, the light is definitely head over there and check out the wealth of information that they offer on their website. It's pretty, it's pretty complete. Now when it comes to installation, it can't get much easier than this. Uh, if you don't have lights hanging from your ceiling, um, then you just need to put an eyelet into the uh, ceiling. It's relatively easy to do, not a big hard deal. I think they're working on mounting brackets for this light, but don't quote me on it, but you may want to check out some of the videos that are out. And I think I did see some posts where they are working on some kind of mounting arms for the light. Now, as far as the adjustability of these of the hanging kit, it's the most complete that you can get. I've had hanging kits where once you hang it, that's it. Basically, the light's going to sit where it sits and nothing else. With this hanging kit, the way the cables are set up, you can adjust pitch from front to back. Which means, once you hang the light and the way the power cord hangs off of it, it has a tendency to pitch the light to the back of the tank, which will make the light shine more into the room. Well, all you have to do is release the set screw, which locks it, the cable into place, and you can adjust the pitch of the light and then lock it back up so the light is sitting flush, even, and level. Now, as far as my opinions on how this makes my tank look and what I think of the light, I've had the light sitting over my tank for roughly about two weeks. I've already seen a remarkable response of my SPS to, the, to growth and coloration since the light's been hanging over my tank. I don't just because this light was given to me by the manufacturer, I'm not going to give you a review that I don't agree with, but I will say this light does work. It works relatively quickly. Uh, the corals, there was no acclimation phase. I just put it on coral color and growth, and off it went, and the, the corals responded to it in a matter of days. So is it worth the price? I would say most definitely. I am already planning on buying a second one, so this way I'll have this light hanging over my tank from now on. So that's going to be it for this video and if you have any questions feel free to drop a comment down below. Check out the links. I'm also going to link the BRS video to this so they go into a little bit more detail than I did. As always, this is Scott. I will see you next time around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe.